In the previous episode, we built this pretty good fortress farm that's right behind us. And in between this episode and the previous one, Alienbot has been doing a whole lot of AFKing. So hopefully, we're going to have a whole lot of wither skeleton skulls around here. Well, we had about 14 wither skeleton skulls and somehow we also seem to have gained 9 glass. So, uh, can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> Now, bear in mind, Alienbot was probably only AFK for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, possibly two. I don't know. Not very long is the point I'm trying to make. We are pretty set for beacons. And in total, we now have 41 Wither Skeleton Skulls, which is very, very good. We almost have more Wither Skeleton Skulls than we have diamonds. However, what we're going to be doing today will not be involving the Fortress Farm, although it will be involving the beacon that we got in the previous episode. And it will also involve our industrial district. I did briefly mention it in the previous episode, but today we're going to be working on a slime farm. So hello humans, I'm the alien doctor, but you can call me alien and welcome back to another episode of Pinecraft Season 4. Now, slime farms, of course, involve lots of digging, which means we need a pickaxe. Now, we have three pickaxes here, all of which are reasonably low durability, I guess, except this one. So our first job really should be to repair our durability. Now, to do that, we need to head over here to the iron farm trading hall drowned farm thing and grab ourselves an absolute ton of iron, of which there isn't much right now because somebody has taken all of it, but that's fine. And then whilst holding the pickaxe that we need to repair, we will then do an absolute ton of village trading. And okay, yeah, all of our gear is pretty much repaired, so it's not going to be eating up XP, which is good. If we also get the poppies from the iron golem and craft them into red dye, we can then trade that red dye with these villagers whatever they're called shepherds i think and there we go we now have a pretty much repaired pickaxe we are still going to need to do a little bit more repairing however by then normally the iron ingots have restocked which they have in this one so we could just do that whole cycle again well i came back over here to the wither skeleton farm to get some coal and there seems to be an insane amount of wither skeleton skulls backlogged here uh, well, they were in the hopper, I think some. Yeah, literally 44 Wither Skeleton Skulls in specifically that spawn spot, which is quite interesting. So yeah, I wasn't checking the hoppers back here, whereas I have been to get some coal out. And if you're wondering why I was collecting all that coal, it's because we can trade coal with these guys to get even more emeralds. <laughs> I guess technically one thing that we could also trade for is bottles of enchanting, bottle, bottle of enchanting. <laughs> And we could probably just like splash some of these over there. This is where the offhand would be useful. And then if we hold out our pickaxe. Yeah, there we go. That kind of worked. Well, now that we have some mostly repaired pickaxes, we can go ahead and place our beacon to begin mining out this area. Now, if I remember correctly, you actually have to be like above the beacon to actually get its effect. So if we placed it up here, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't get its effect when we start digging down. But that may also be like outdated information or just not true at all. Well, if my calculations are correct, which they are not, <laughs> we would have landed on the beacon. But we did not because my calculations were not correct. Oh, jeez. Take two. Well, if my calculations are correct this time, then... We have our beacon here. There we go. Haste 2. Wonderful. But anyway, now that we've got this beacon set up, I guess the next part is digging out the chunk itself. Now, we're not going to be digging all the way down to the bottom of the world. I think we'll only dig this to about Y equals 6 or so, which is what we used to do before the world height was lowered or the world depth, I guess. But anyway, enough waffling. It's time lapse time. <laughs> Uh, well, we may have an issue in that I wasn't looking. I was watching YouTube, which is why there was no audio on that clip. And I got a, I got a little bit too distracted and now I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. Luckily, the backup pickaxe I own is a silk touch pick. But yeah, that is not good at all. Oops. Anyway, on with the time lapse.
And after not too long at all, we now have a slime chunk fully dug out. And we have been having some slimes spawned in there. We're probably too far away for any more to spawn. But before we finish building this, the rest of this farm, there's a couple of other stuff I want to do. And that is actually over here at the shopping district or the temporary shopping district, which is spawn. So a quick recap in case you've forgotten, this is the temporary shop that we have built in the temporary shopping district over here at the original spawn until the actual shopping district is ready for shops to be built in it. Which, by the way, has made a lot of progress so far. However, the, the idea of this shop is for us to put a ton of different items in that we can make individual shops for in the future. So in, over here, I have a ton of different shulker boxes full of different items. So firstly, we have a whole ton of bones because we have a lot of different farms that produce a whole lot of different bones. We also have a whole lot of string because we have... A, a, uh, a few farms that produce string, I guess, kind of. Because technically we have the iron farm, but anyway. We, of course, also have a whole ton of arrows. And then finally, we have a whole ton of blaze rods as well, which we can put in this chest. Now, we also have some coal, which I think I'm going to get like another chest here for the coal or something. Or maybe put it on top of the crafting table or something. But yeah, we've also got coal to sell. And there we go. There is our coal chest. So we have some fresh stock and I'll let everybody know on Discord and add the prices in a second. Have we had some sales? Yes, we have. Oh, yes, we have. And even, oh, shulker box sales. That's, I'm really happy about that. Plenty of rocket sales. Tons of rocket sales. And just, uh, apparently some people were also chucking junk in there. We'll throw that out. But yes, this is really good. And we still got plenty of stock. Well, I've gone ahead and added in the sides and the prices for each, well, new thing that we're selling. And I'm also going to go ahead and let the other Pinecraft members know on Discord that we are selling some new stuff. But I think we've got off topic enough, so it's time to get back to building the slime farm. Now, as with building any farm, the first thing we need to think about is the design. Which, conveniently, we already have a slime farm here on the channel that appears to be working completely fine. So this is Alien Craft Season 2. And on here I of course built this slime farm and then later I built that lab over there which is kind of empty. But anyway, the point is, is that we have this slime farm here and I designed this a very very long time ago. I think it probably was like early 2021, late 2020 that I designed this slime farm. And as you can see here, it still works. I actually originally designed it on a live stream on YouTube. So you can still technically check out that VOD if you want to. Remember when I said earlier that I wasn't going to get distracted and I was going to continue on with the farm? Well, uh, I may have lied because I just finished a live stream with Goldie, who is a fellow content creator and a Pine Craft member, where we went head raiding. So as you can see, we have a whole lot of diamond and iron gear now. This is actually because me and Goldie had a competition where each item we'd win was worth an amount of points and whoever had the most points would get to keep all of this gear along with uh, all the diamonds, emeralds, iron and gold that we got. We also each took a quarter of the shulker shells and elytras. Now, you may be wondering what we did with the other half. Well, we opened a totally not ugly shop incorporated, also known as TNAUS for short. Basically, we're selling the uh, the elytra and shulker boxes. So we got an absolute ton of shulker boxes all in here. And we're also selling the Max Dow's elytra in here for four diamonds each. So hopefully we'll make many, many profits. And of course, every single price is even. That way we can evenly split. That way we can evenly split the profits behind here. But nobody's really been on since we opened our totally not an ugly shop. So we haven't really been able to make any profits yet. One resource gathering mission later. Well, I have all of the materials gathered, so all I've got to do is watch my own tutorial now to remember how we build this farm properly. Well, according to Pastalian, I actually needed to dig down to Y level 5, not Y level 6. So we have one more level to go down to, which is fine. Well, as Pastalian has told me too in the tutorial, I have now added in a floor and also dug it down so that we are on the correct level. Oh, and I also tried filling in some of the holes and clearly missed a little bit. <laughs> well, I missed a lot, but I placed a block is what I mean, which I am now struggling to break. 
Well, I was just working on adding the first layer and it looks like we already have <laughs> some slimes spawning over here, which is obviously very, very good. But it's not very ideal right now because we haven't finished <laughs> adding in like the kill area or the storage or like anything important. You know what? Maybe we probably should have like built up like the storage and all that sort of thing first. I mean, it's not going to be particularly groundbreaking storage. It'll be pretty easy to do. Well, I did just exactly that and have now added in the magma along with the minecart and a system, well, a bubble elevator essentially, that will just take all the slime to the top. So this is pretty simple. We just have a sort of auto uh, minecart dropper thingy that is kind of just something I made up on the spot. I've never really seen this sort of design because it's not particularly compact or anything. But anyway, the point is is the hopper will stop here, drop off its items, and then go away again. So, so to show you that in action, we're just going to drop some stone on there. As you can see, the hopper minecart stops and then leaves again, and all those items will eventually end up through a very, very long bubble column all the way up here, which they are already in the chest, along with 20 slime, which I manually put in there because it's all the slime that we had from working on this farm, and we have even more. So now it's probably a good time to do, well, the rest of the layers. I'm probably not going to time lapse this because I'm going to do it in segments. So it's not going to look particularly good for a time lapse. And there aren't really a ton of good angles to time lapse in here either. So I'll just do some progress updates every now and then. Well, it turns out that there weren't many progress updates to give. You see, this thing took, well, barely any time at all to build. And I've even managed to fill in all of the um, like holes that we had in the wall as well, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, we now have a fully functional slime farm, which is quite unexpected, to be honest. It's probably taken me like two hours to build this farm, which is pretty good. Uh, we have a lot of slime balls right here, which is very, very, very good. You may be wondering what we're going to be doing with all these drops. Well, one thing that we definitely are going to be doing is selling them. So, see that we have moved our, you know, shulker boxes to the joint shop with Goldie, we can now sell slime here. So we are going to be selling some slime balls in here for one diamond for one stack. And obviously, hopefully we'll be getting some more stock after we have, uh, you know, got more slime. But we actually do have another use for some slime that you're going to see in the next episode because spoilers. Well, I guess all we need to do now is get Alien Bot over here so we can get even more slime from this farm and so he can do a little bit of AFKing. So, uh, oh, there we go, Alien Bot. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? Well, Alien, I'm good, but there's uh, there's something I should probably show you first. I've, I've found something that you might be a little bit interested in. Oh, uh, okay, I guess. It's just down here, Alien. Oh, uh, oh, Ali alien bot is, is that what I think it is? Uh, possibly. Oh, alien bot, what have you done? 